So I think I've told this story before, but uh, uh, my buddy Sam used to live on Van Buren Street. And this was uh, about a year ago now. Shout out to Van, Van Buren. Shout out to Van Buren Street. A lot of memories there. A lot of bad times. There's a reason why none of us live yeah, there. Yeah, fuck anymore. Sam. Fuck yourself, no, Sam. No, Sam, you're, listening, you're, you're great. This, fuck yourself. <laughs> fuck you. The shout out goes to Van Buren, not yeah. Sam. <laughs> Shout out to Sam. Obviously. <laughs> shout out to Sam and shout out <laughs> shout out to Sam. Shout out to Dan. And I don't even remember the girl's name that was involved, but I know that she was with Sam at the time. And if he's listening, he's sweating right now. <laughs> so, <laughs> he, Big dripping sweat. Dude, he is not gonna be happy if he's listening to this. Yeah. So Fantastic. I shouldn't have said his name. <laughs> Rip, let's hear it. So you didn't say his out. last name, did you? We're, we're hanging out. No, we're hanging out. He's at, in the clear. He's at, in the clear. At the yeah, house. Yeah, yeah. We don't know what Sam it is. Me, Dan, and Sam are hanging out at the house, and Sam's wicked excited. You know, we got we got booze, we got Bud, we got uh, both Xboxes hooked up to play video games, whatever, or both Playstations, whatever it was. And uh, he he's wicked excited because we're finally going to meet this girl that he's been with for a few oh, months. Oh, boy. Here we go. And she ended up being fake. Damn, so she comes over. She comes she was over. Not real. She was Mante Teo's girlfriend. She, I have a story about mm, that that I am she, not gonna talk about on she, the air. Honestly, it's mean. She, but I'll tell you later. She's pretty pretty good looking too. She she was a solid like eight point one. Point one. <laughs> point one. Quite pretty specific. good. Yeah, she's okay. a solid eight point one. Interesting. Dude, she had a I mean, fucking, that's over eight though. She so. had amazing legs and just an amazing butt. Okay. The rest of her cool, was, was pretty all right, but yeah. Okay. I'm just, Anywho, yeah. Okay, now I can, <laughs> who I can, the fuck cares? Yeah, Continue. I can totally picture this now. <laughs> so yeah, just, just picture an amazing legs and amazing picture butt. Assy McGee. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so she comes over and we're excited to meet her. She's really cool. We're talking about music. Uh, we were listening to Dream Theater, and Ooh. she immediately knew what song by Dream Theater it was. So immediately, I'm like, this girl's fucking dope. And she goes, oh, you get, we're, we're, we all drank gin and tonics or Tom. We were on a huge gin, gin tonic for a good. long time. And I'm that's cool still that. my, that's still my staple drink. is Tangray tonic. So she goes, oh, well, I brought a bottle, pulls out a bottle of absinthe. Now, in hindsight, this should have been a caution flag, but yep. I was already drinking and I was like, I've never had absinthe before. I've only heard of it. I want to try this shit. Right. So we crack it open. And, and it was real absinthe? Uh, not the shit that makes you trip, but yeah. Oh, okay. Well, okay. Yeah. That's what you I'm You can't get that. In New you York can't. Anyways. No, you're not getting that shit. But, uh, you can get absinthe without that one thing that makes you hallucinate, mm-hmm. whatever it is. Which is wormwood. just still. I think it's wormwood. It's wormwood, wormwood yeah. It is, yeah. But, uh, <clears throat> so we're not, drinking the absinthe. Not my old I was going to say, yeah. wormwood. Not the is it, sir? <laughs> <laughs> So, so we're drinking the absinthe. And by this point, this is like a half hour in. We're all feeling really good. The Shout abs- out to wormwood, by the yeah. way. Shout I'm pretty sure it's also a star in one of the constellations. And, sure. Uh, yeah. So it's like that's where you guys. This got shit's from strong. Not, it's like a, not, it's not like from it's like a hundred thirty proof. Yeah, it's and strong. it's really strong. It's really good. It goes down way smoother than you'd expect. It's like a really really strong, piney, licorice, minty flavor. That's it really, fair. It's really hard to describe, but it's good. I like it. So Sam goes to the bathroom, and this girl turns around. I remember her name now. I almost slipped it, but I'm not. Yeah, gonna don't say do it. it. Don't I'm do that to her. Name. It's all good. Yeah. So she goes, oh, hey. She goes, babe, can you grab me a towel from the bathroom? And he goes, sure. Man, this ain't going anywhere good. So we're thinking, oh, maybe she spilled her this drink. Ain't going or, good. Maybe she spilled her drink or something. No. And this is real bad. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> spills it everywhere? Yeah, it spills it all can over. Can you give me a towel? No. <laughs> no. So. He gets the towel, and Dan goes, what, did you spill your drink or something? And she goes, oh, no, no, it's fine. I just need to use it. And we're like, what? And Dan and I look at each other just the way you looked at me just now. We look, just at each other. Like, we look at each other, and I immediately take another shot of absinthe, and I'm like, what the fuck's about to happen? Yeah, you guys she look pulls at each other out, this is bad. She pulls out. A fucking giant can, Dick. and I hope if you're watching, I was I say, thought she was huge deal though. <laughs> if, you're, if, you're, if you're watching wild. the video, I'm not kidding. It was this big. Her a, dick. A fucking can of aerosol hairspray. What? <laughs> Wraps the fucking hairspray up in the towel oh. and just starts huffing hairspray in front of us. 
as one ought to do when you're meeting your boyfriend's best friends right, for right, the first right, time. Right, right. And we look at Sam, and he immediately goes pale and looks at us. And <laughs> Dan and I start fucking dying. And she goes, what? And I go, are you huffing hairspray right now? She goes, yeah. It makes me feel like I'm one with the earth. <laughs> hairspray. hairspray. Possibly the most synthetic chemical <laughs> ever created yes. by human beings. It's 100% the, the chemicals. least natural. And I just remember that at one point, Dan texted me while we're all sitting there. And after the first five minutes of her huffing hairspray, mind you, we were having a conversation and you just hear every few minutes just <laughs> Okay, go on. <laughs> You're like, what the fuck? At a certain this? point you might as well just drink the fucking can. So that's gotta be it, so bad. I felt so bad she because had, Dan and I left. We left yeah. and we were dying. And we're like, we gotta, we gotta do something. So we went to Wendy's. Bad idea. Went to Wendy's, got a bunch of food, and came back. And like, she, we sit down, we keep drinking, and she goes, "Did you guys leave because I was huffing hairspray, or did you really just want to go to Wendy's?" And Dan's like, "Oh no, no, we just, we were really hungry." And I look at, <laughs> I look her dead in the yeah, eyes, yeah, and I go, "You were fucking huffing hairspray." I go, "How do you not understand?" <laughs> What's going on? How do you? And I just start dying. Do you know it was a bad move? I because just, you brought it up and said, I, "Did you guys leave because I did this horrible?" Right. Thing? I yes. st- I yeah. started fucking dying like so hard. Yeah, but at least she felt like one with the earth at that. And point. then <laughs> eventually, Dan went home, and I hung out, and it. She literally went through two full cans of hairspray. That is what? one the fuck? night. That is just savage. That's dude. my story about huffing. Jesus. Now, yeah, you know what? You don't. I'm gonna just say you don't want to do it. Yeah, uh, <laughs> Clue Shots podcast is not endorse huffing. Trust my hairspray. Yeah. Mm-mm. So if you ever go out and you huff hairspray and you get something bad happens and you you're like, oh well, Jake was talking about uh, hairspray. It sounded really cool. I want to be one with the plants. Right. Fuck you and eat a dick. Don't yeah, huff hairspray. Hairspray is not going to get you there, guys. <laughs> I hate to say it. I think there's other ways to be one with the earth. Yeah, just drink cough syrup, faggot. <laughs> sure. <laughs> It just got, just get CO two canisters and go the the right way. Just drink nicotine salts. Yeah. Like, yep. Don't do that. You'll die. <laughs> um, 